Hello, I'm Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed, April 5, 2016 at 2.02 a.m. in Birmingham. Um, I just finished a study, a small one, and I am really eager to tell you about it. And some of it I'm going to repeat, but it's important. And... Um, Bear with me. If I can't make it work, then I'll have to do it tomorrow when I'm not quite as tired. But title is Jesus Has Yearnings. Did you know that? We have the Bible, the greatest book ever written. Over 2,000 years, 66 books, 40, 40 authors, and every I is dotted and every T is crossed. Clearly, you can say that there was some knowledge behind writing this book in this manner and putting it in a way that it makes a point from start to finish. But the Bible's a love letter as well to all people that God ever created. God knowing when he gave man freedom of choice that man would get himself in an predicament. That only the death of God could extract him. We see this incredible drama on salvation, and at the end of the road, we discover that God, with all the extremes he has gone through on our behalf, doesn't get what he wants out of the deal. He said he's not willing that any should perish, but all would come to repentance and yet, clearly, not all came to repentance. Bottom line is, God doesn't really get what he wants out of the deal. Chuck Messler studied the Bible for 65 years, and it's only in recent years that he said, I stumbled upon and into this awareness that Jesus, the creator of the universe, has yearnings. He said, I could not grasp the concept that the creator, the ruler, the one that keeps everything running, has yearnings. The fact that he has yearnings he said, again, I stumbled at. He said, I find the uh, concept hard to appreciate. Furthermore, do you know what the yearning is? He talks to his father, this is Jesus, about it in John chapter 17. His yearning is to have us with him. The day will come when the father will say to the son, go get him. That's what he is waiting for. All of us is waiting for. We're waiting for the same thing. But most of all, it is he by far that yearns to have us. Chuck said, the whole concept surprised me. The other thing is that we see this incredible drama planned before the foundations of the world, all for our found, uh, salvation. Knowing that he gives man freedom of choice, that man would get himself in a predicament. 
that only God can extract him. That is the death of God. So you see, this is an incredible drama on salvation. At the end of the road, we discover that God, with all the extremes that he's gone through on our behalf, doesn't get what he wants out of the deal. That's not, that's he not willing that any shall perish, but that all would come to repentance, and yet clearly not all came to repentance. The bottom line is God doesn't really get what he wants out of the deal. Chuck Missler said, there are issues that we touch upon, but we never see it this way. Messler's a smart guy, and I know this. I have known this, but yet I've never looked at it a second time until today. You know, what can you say to that? Except, thank you for your death on the cross. Jody Wolf Exposed.